What's going on guys? Pro Player Apathy back in another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing s and tips, tricks, and spots on Infection. Now, as, as hyped as I am and as hyped as you guys are, let's just get right into it. So you guys know the business. We're going to start off with some s and sniper spots, some areas where you can rush and get information. And we're going to start off with this basic warden right here off the building. What you want to do is you just want to jump here, look anyone in the middle, and then what you need to do is cling yourself on this wall to keep momentum. Go back. Hey, let me go for a second peek. Do it one more time. That way you don't have to go back into the wall and keep doing it. So on this side, instead of going left, you can go right. And you're going to wall run on this wall right here. You can see the guy top church and see if anyone pushes down middle. And maybe even get a first blood. It's, it's kind of as good as the left side. The only difference is... This side is more hidden. No one really expects you to go on the right side. Everyone always preempts that left side. So basically, this is obviously a default spot. But what I really want to show you is this window. Basically, what you can do is go to the window, jump out, sh jump, shoot, maybe come back in, do it again, look middle, come back in. And it's pretty much the same thing as wall running this wall. Instead, you can kind of keep repeating it just because you're already high up. Now, next up, off the spawn, when you go up in this little island rock, the reason this spot is so good is for three reasons. One, you can see they cross the B bomb if they go B and they want to cross to go into B. And they don't, it's hard for them to see you from all the way here. Second of all, you can see the guy top mountain. So basically, you have two important spots. You can even usually hold this by yourself. Another cool, crazy spot that a lot of people don't know is you can actually go to the ledge of this rock. And you can see the B push right here. And you can see even if there's a guy on the head glitch. You know people like to sit back here, snipe or with an AR. All you have to do is jump to the side a little bit. Boom. And come back up onto the cliff. Now this one is basic, but I'm going to show you guys real quick. Other than just sniping like this, you can obviously do this. Jump over the rock and then get a kill. So now on this side, there's a lot of spots. I mean a lot of good sniping spots here. Spots where you can see people that some of them people don't even know. So we're going to start off with the basic one. Obviously, you know, you can sit right here. Head glitch this rock to watch the cliff. You know, it's better than being here sometimes because everyone sees this. In this way, you're a little bit more back and you can even see someone pushing you right away. Now, a pretty cool one that not many people know or I see many people do. You can actually go to the back side of this building and you can see the guy top cliff just by doing this. And kind of the street. Yeah, I've actually killed study like this before. I just killed him right there and I came back. Yeah, pretty nice, ain't it? So now this is a pretty obvious one. What a lot of people like to do is wall run the church wall and immediately just jump off and do kind of what people do on that side and try to get the snipe kill. Another cool one is you jump on top of this tank and you can see the guy top cliff. You heard me. Top by the fucking cliff. Watch this. Boom! It's kind of random and you won't always get this kill. You don't expect someone to get there. It has to be all about timing. But hey, if someone's shooting, if you're here, you can go for that kill. Another thing a lot of people like to do, because certain people wall run this wall or they go to the window. What you do immediately off break is you jump on top of this wall right here. And then all you have to do is basically just jump. Jump, you can see that guy in the window. Boom. And that way you're kind of in a head glitch. You're already like in a good position. Or you can just boost up to see the map if you want. So obviously other than going to top church, trying to snipe the guy top grandma's. This is another cool way to do it. What you can do is come back of this timber wood right here, and you can actually sit right here. It's pretty crazy to think, but you can snipe that guy right there. You can jump up, of course. Look, not many people use this spot, but it's a very good spot in my opinion. You're pretty hidden, you're pretty far back, and you can always take out those people in grandma. All right, guys, now I'll be showing you some spots, some really good spots that you can use around this map, offense or defense. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to show you guys all the spots around this area first. You obviously have this bag head glitch right here. Good to watch the mountain. You can always peek to your left and maybe see someone here. There's this one right here as well. Jump on top of this. You have a head glitch on the rock. You can pick up a guy here. The only problem is the guy. Could, make sure you have a guy watching your mountain. Because usually if you're looking at this. If no one's watching your mountain. He can come up. Shoot you on the side. And you'll get killed pretty fast. What you can do is actually. This could be a head glitch for you. What you do is you crouch right here. You go to. You, you climb up this cliff just a little bit. And you have a head glitch watching the bomb room. So that way if someone comes out. You know. Usually they have a head glitch. Well guess what. Now you have one too. Let the games begin. So another cool spot that I feel like a lot of people don't use, god damn that wind is loud, but it's right here in this corner. So what you want to do is go on this island rock, you want to lay down kind of by this bush right here. And the reason it's so hard, you can even go more lower to the edge if you want. I just like using the bush because like in my mind, you know, it obviously helps me be covered just a little bit more. And you can see this uh, cliff right here. It's really hard and it's hard to expect someone to be there. And on top of that, you have for shot. Like when I come around here, the first thing in my mind is, is thinking about a guy here and there. And maybe a guy like right here in the middle. So when I immediately come through here, I'm going to look like this. That guy to the left is going to be kind of hard to see. And you're going to kill me usually every time. Another good spot when it comes to like playing defense or trying to watch your own flank if you pushed up is this spot right here. The reason this spot is so good is one, when coming down the street, 
you really have to turn the corner and look at it. If you're just running like this, you're going to get killed most of the time. And on top of that, it's a head glitch. You just have a head glitch in the middle of the fucking street. The guy comes in, you just boom, 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 boom. Another random corner you can use to be sneaky and maybe clutch up is right here, even to watch flank. Uh, but I wouldn't really use this corner much unless it's like 10 seconds left. You're just hiding away This is obviously a good corner. But what I would do if you're ever watching over a bomb I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys know this already, but it's very simple. Some people would make it too complicated They're like, oh, I don't know how to get up here. It's very simple You just jump once and jump twice and you're ready here now If you crouch if you're gonna crouch you can stand up like this I personally crouch and then you go a little bit to the left to where it's like a very good head glitch because if you go here, obviously your, your your body's a little bit more up because you're head, you're not head glitching. You're head glitching it, but you're not crouched. So what I do is crouch and then go to the left and boom. Now a lot of you guys, I'm pretty sure, know this spot already. When they're pushing the flank and you are, let's say you're pushed up. You're trying to kill one or two. They're starting to push you. You're like, holy shit, team, I have to give up B. But you don't want to give it up completely. What you do is just go right here. You head glitch this barrel and boom, you just wait for them. So I showed you guys this spot. This spot doesn't only have to be for sniping. You can obviously sit here, especially when you want to give up A and just watch the barn push. You guys can see that you can see someone entering the barn. And you can see pretty much the doorway. And you can obviously hop, just hop in, you know, just hop, you know, keep hop. Just to like watch the whole thing. It's a really nice spot. Very underrated. Now another secret thing that I saw someone do recently, which I think I thought it was pretty crazy. So you can actually watch the A bomb from right here. So this is how you do it. You're going to wall run this wall. Then you're going to just jump up and look at this. You can see the whole A-bomb. You can see if someone's planning. You can see if someone's defusing. It's very simple. Like I said, you just jump all the way here. And then you just wall run. And then you just jump out. It's crazy the fact that you can do that. So when it comes to this barn, there's two cool spots you can use. Or I'll say three. One, there's this you can do. You, you go right here. Go in this corner. You're kind of like in half a head glitch. And you obviously have a good angle to shoot someone coming in. Some people like to stand on top of this hay, watch the door. That way you have smaller, higher ground, and you can just stay here, and it's a little bit more unexpected. Even this corner right here is good, just because if I'm sitting here, you know, as soon as they come to the door, I'm kind of more noticeable. If I'm more to the left all the way, it's kind of hard to see me. I'll usually get first shot. You know, if I choke that, then I just suck. And there's this spot that a lot of people don't know that I found pretty cool. If you prone here... Look at this. You can actually see someone coming out of the broken broken building. It's pretty crazy to even think of or see, but I'm showing you guys right now. It's actually a pretty cool thing to learn. So you go it's prone right here behind the lumber. Boom. You see someone come up and you just shoot them. You don't even need to go all the way up. You just crouch back up and you're still like in a head glitch. And then obviously there's this spot right here. You can just head glitch this wood panel right here. Then if you want to watch A, you can obviously head glitch this window. I wouldn't really go in the window. You're very out in the open. This is probably just a better head glitch. Another good head glitch you can use, it's right here. Obviously a little bit more on the open, but you can see right and left. And just hopefully you have a good snapper. Just boom, boom. Another cool tip I'm going to tell you guys is something I learned recently. Now, normally, it's a little risky. I say you have to practice it and make sure you hit your shots. But look at this. So, you know when you come here, first of all, when you always want to peek this guy. A guy is usually always going to be this head glitch. If not, he's going to be this one. What you want to do is do it like this. You come here. Don't peek it like this. You're too out in the open. Make sure you go to this wall first. Then what you can do is like this. And you can even straight shoot them. You guys might put bullets to each other, but it's going to be extremely hard to die just because this wall. Not all bullets are going to connect to you. As long as you don't go like this out in the open. You just want to like slide, like fucking strafe this shit like this. And put shots. Now if he's still there, he's not backing out. What you can do is this right here. So you see this window right here? Yeah, motherfucker. I am a nerd. What you can do is obviously have an M8 or a sniper. Don't try to out with a sub. but Don't be Mr. Goku. What you want to do is right this. And you can actually shoot him from up there. And he does not expect you because when you fly up like this, he doesn't see your body. And you can easily shoot him. I actually tried this in an S&D once. It worked out pretty well. Uh, it just takes a little practice. You got to make sure you, you know, you hit your movement good. I have one last thing to show you before I get to the bomb plants. Now, I'm pretty sure it's about 80% of you guys know this. But for the people who don't, I'm going to go ahead and say it. So, first of all, you can wall run behind this building. Even though many people know this, uh, some people, I'll say a lot of people, don't know that you could. All right. <laughs> I kind of choked that, but you can actually wall run this wall. I know it's kind of crazy to think of, but look at this. I'm wall running a wall that I shouldn't even probably be able to wall run. And you can do it all the way to the end, and then just come back up, boop, and then just do a crazy play. If you guys didn't know, you can actually wall run this wall too, even though the majority of you guys already know. And you can wall run really high up. And you can do this. And then when you come up here, you can just go back and forth here, and then here. This is not really a glitch. Can it be helpful? I mean, if you plant A, you're trying to be sneaky. You know, maybe, maybe it'll be pretty good, but honestly, <laughs> I, I don't see this working out too well in your favor, but you can just do it for fun, you know, boom! Okay, guys, now we're going to talk about bomb plants, and before I get into bomb plants, 
I want to say something, and this goes to every of my SD videos. First of all, what I want you to do is locate where the bomb is planted. Now, obviously, you can't always do that as fast as possible, but the faster the better because that's usually going to indicate where your opponent is. So, for example, let's say it's planted like right here. This automatically usually indicates the guy is middle or he's right here trying to jump up, and I'll show you guys that spot soon, but he's around middle just from the way it's planted. Now, obviously, he can do a smart play and, like, wrap all the way around the spot and come here and try to pick you off guard to get good timing. By that time, you could defuse. You could usually just peek out. Oh, I don't see anything. I'm just going to defuse it right away. Or the guy might just be chilling and broken, so it's risky. But that's usually how you want to think. So let's get right into it. Obviously, what you can do on B Palm is plant right here. Now, the reason this spot is so good is for many reasons. One, all you have to do is go middle, check it. You can even do a little mountain, a fountain jump up just like this. Oh, there it is. Kill the guy. But what some people like to do, and what I think a lot of people like to do actually now, is you can get it broken. You see this tarp right here? You don't need a drop down. All you do is this. Now, it's obviously easier to snipe the guy than an AR him across the, well, I'd say across the map. But even if you, as long as you have an AR or sniper, it's pretty much doable. Now, another good place to plant it is right here. And the reason this is so good is because you're stretching it to the max. Look where my body is. Look how far the bomb is. I'm planting it behind this wall right here. So, for example, they were to jump up to see if I'm planning or not. They can't see me because I'm stretching it to the left. And the reason this is good, not other other than they can't see me, is for two more reasons. One, if a guy slides in, he's gonna he's gonna aim always for here. I'm I'm here. Two, once it's planted, you can see it from almost anywhere from this side. If we have B control, I can see the bomb very clear out in the open. I can easily kill a guy trying to defuse. Kill a guy trying to defuse. Kill the guy trying to defuse. Even up here, I can kill the guy trying to defuse. And this is another reason why that spot's so good. If you're up top, up here, atop the cliff, you can just, if you're playing like safe spot, you can easily check the bomb and kill the guy. Now that goes to one more spot that I like to plan it is other than planting it right here and stretching it, what you can do is plant it and stretch it right here. Now the reason this spot is a little even better is the fact that top cliff, you can see the guy defusing it every time from top cliff. And if you, let's say it's a 2v3, you're playing clutch, you know, you can sit up here, play timing perfectly, you can peek out like this, oh, he's not defusing, come back here, just watch your lanes, and it could be, it, like, this spot right here could be so clutch. Obviously, going back to the bomb, planting it here is a little bit more safer than planting out in the open like this, because this is a little bit more risky, but it's going to increase your chances of clutching, especially, like, in a 2v3, a 2v4, you know, a round you need or a round that's hard to clutch. On A bomb, there isn't much spots like B bomb where you can see from across the map, but a good spot you can plant it is right here in this corner. Now, it's a little bit risky because usually people like to plant it here, so you're taking cover or here. But planting it far left here is really good because if someone comes in the middle, they can boost up like mid fountain. You can boost up, see the bomb right here. You can see from here, you can see from here, and you can see from here. So it's a good spot to plant it. Uh, normally, you could just plant it like this. That way, you're undercover. You know, you have a lot of cover, or you can plant it like this. Other than that, I mean, there's no really w other way you really want to plan it. That just comes to you playing timing, playing positioning, you know, making sure you're taking bomb regularly, making sure he's not defusing. Another good thing you could do, like what I showed you earlier, which is pretty crazy, is wall run this wall. And then just check bomb. No one's defusing. Okay. And then you can just do that constantly. Even maybe play like a corner back here. Oh, uh, you see no one defusing. Go back here for a second. All right. Let me check again. Two seconds pass. Let me see if he's defusing. Do this again. Oh, nothing. That's how you can play it. But in reality, there's not many spots to plan A. And I think that's what makes it harder. On top of it being easy to defend, it's not a good place to plan. That's why a lot of teams like to go B. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed my third map, Infection, SD tip tricks, and spots. I showed you guys some cool new stuff, stuff you guys probably didn't know. And I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you guys love it. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's aim for maybe 20,000 likes. That'd be awesome. But seriously, guys, have a good day. Don't forget, this was your boy, Pro Player Apathy, and I'm out. Peace.